A 2023 report from the Wisconsin Office of Children's Mental Health shows that there has been an increase in mental illnesses within our youth. The study also shows that 37% of young adults between the ages 18 and 25 are experiencing mental illness in Wisconsin compared to the rest of the U.S. at 34%. News 8 Now's Shaquille Davis is here to tell us more about it. Shaq? Ken Emily, the World Health Organization has reported that worldwide 10% of children and adolescents experience a mental health disorder. But as you just said, the numbers are more alarming in Wisconsin. When you don't have that um, pattern of doing something so trivial or mundane as processing through frustrations and you just put that internally, you're going to have a decline of your mental stability. Nicole Miller and co owns the Brave Spaces Counseling and Wellness Center with her wife, Nancy. She's worked in this field for 30 years and routinely holds sessions with young people. So she has personal experience on why our youth is suffering. Big thread that a lot of people would very quickly say is uh, social media, but I don't think that's the only thing. Millerin says children are very socially aware these days, and that could be one of the leading factors for this rise. I think that a lot of the kids that I talk with, especially in middle school and high school, um, are a lot more aware of what's happening in our culture, so I think climate change is huge. Millerin also points to politics and feels that kids are more tuned in than ever before. And they see a lot of adults not treating each other kindly. And I think, I, I wonder then, they, they, who do they turn to? Do they feel like they can turn to us or do they feel like we're, we're so split that they don't have a lot of guidance? Millerin is just one person young people can turn to because she is open and honest about her own mental struggles. And honesty is step one in this battle. Certainly in my life there have been a lot of times that I've gone through some pretty dark places that would diagnostically fit depression. Certainly I, I think the cycle of whatever life events are happening has caused parts of my own mental health to go down. Her main focus at her job is to simply give positive reassurance. It's a pretty um, normal thing to think that you're alone in this struggle. And so helping helping them know that they're not alone, um, but and also giving them hope that this doesn't define them. Miller also advises the youth to remember the way you're feeling is not forever. So do the, little, do the little things like hanging out with your good friends more often and though this report defined 2023, it doesn't have to define 2024. Ken, Emily. All right, thank you, Shaq.